Welcome Wolfpack to a quick tutorial guide on how to select an optimal crab fishing ground and how to catch the most amount of crab in deadliest catch the game. Stick around and we will show you how to read the map to find the correct water depth, temperature, and bottom features to find the crab, and once we are on the crab, we will cover how to prepare the pots and start to catch our paycheck. We are going to jump right into this, but before we leave, I want to make sure that we have the correct gear for what we have going on. So we're going to visit the shop. We want to make sure that we have enough buoys to match the amount of pots we have on the boat. Right now we have eight buoys, we have eight pots. I did spend all of our money from last season unlocking the crew management skills and the ability to increase our pots on the ship. Unfortunately, because all of our money was spent on all of those things, I can no longer buy any pots to bring our pot count up to 24. So we're going to have to deal with eight right now, which is plenty for this tutorial. We also want to make sure that we have enough bait to do what we need to do with these eight pots on that first run. Equally important, we also want to make sure that we have at least one grappling hook on the ship. Again, before we leave, we want to make sure that we have enough fuel in the boat. Right now we have 1,800 gallons. We don't have any more money to bring any more fuel on board, so we may have to come back a little early, but for the purposes of this tutorial, this will work. So let's head over to the map and see where we're going to go fishing. So there are a bunch of different ways you could do this. This is my process. It's not the only process. It's just what I like to do. First, the first thing I like to do is start by looking at the temperature. You want to be around 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit in water temperature. So we're going to scroll around here and see what we can find. Right here is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. That's good. The next thing I like to do is use the filter up here. You want to stay away from all of the circle areas. That is rocky soil. Crabs don't like that. They will be present in muddy soil and they will be present in sandy soil. So this will help you narrow it down. If you could find 39 degrees Fahrenheit or close to it in this area of muddy or sandy soil, we can move on to our next step. If you are having trouble pinpointing exactly where 39 degrees is, you can use the middle mouse wheel, scroll in, and get a little bit more of a close-up view of where you're going. You can press and hold the right mouse button and scroll around the map. So right here we are at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have to check our water depth. We know from the in-game tutorials that crabs hang out between 55 meters and 100 meters, or in fathoms, they hang out between 29 and 54 fathoms deep. A little bit of useless trivia here, a fathom is defined as 6 US feet, or around 1.8 meters. You can see here that this point, although the temperature is good and the seabed is good, the depth is not. So these are the contour lines. I am going to come up here and see if there's any place that's around 39 degrees Fahrenheit in this area, which is right around here. Now we're between 29 and 54 fathoms deep, and we have a good fishing spot. Now we can click the left mouse button, it's going to tell us how many nautical miles away from Dutch Harbor it is, how long it will take us to get there, how, many how much time is left in the season, how many gallons of fuel we will use to get there, and then how many total gallons of fuel we have in our tank. Obviously, you're going to want to keep an eye on this so you don't have to get sea towed back and lose money. So we will accept this and head out onto the sea. We still have to go over baiting the pot and all of the other controls to get the pots in the water, but before I forget, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider joining the Wolfpack Gaming community by subscribing to the channel and setting your notifications to all. So before we can get our pots into the water, we have to come over and do our bait preparation. We will come over to the fridge and press the E button. We'll select uh, sardines, I guess, that sounds good. And we will head over to the bait grinder and place it inside. You will see it grinds it up nicely. Now we have a full bait bin right here, and we will get our pots ready to go on the launcher. We can control the crane from two different locations on the boat. We can control it from right here by pressing the E button. The other place you can control the crane is from right here. And then you can operate the crane by using the controls, and all of the controls are listed right here. I don't need to go through them all with you. Press the space button to grab the pot, and then we can bring it back over. If you need a different view, press the C button and you will do an overhead view and you'll be able to see where exactly the pots are moving. I prefer this view to do all of my movements of pots, that way you don't drop it over the edge. If you drop a pot over the edge of the boat, you lose the pot, lose $1,000, you have to buy another one and you get fined for leaving a pot in the water. Again, you can use the C button to change your view depending on which way you would rather see it. Once the pot is on the launcher, now I like to do the same exact thing every time so I don't confuse myself, and this is my plan. My first move is the bait. I come over here to the bait grinder and take a chunk of bait out of here in the box. I come over here and open the pot door, C for crouch down. I place the bait basket into the pot by pressing E, back up, and press C again to uncrouch. 
I immediately close the pot door, and now I'm going to go get our buoys. Our buoys are located right here. We take them in our hands, come over here to this ghost image, place the buoys on there. You'll see the buoys were thrown over to the side, and this pot is ready to go. Usually before I launch it, I will step back and make sure the crab pot door is closed. If that door is not closed, you will not catch any crabs. They'll just crawl right out. Finally, the last thing we do is come over here. We press the E button to raise it. This is one position, and you have to push it another time. Pot goes into the water, and you start to get that diagram of how long the pot is in the water. And then to ready for the next pot, I come over here, I drop it down to the ready position, and you repeat this for as many pots as you're gonna throw in the water at this location. In the next tutorial, we will discuss how long I leave the pots in the water before I retrieve them, and we will also go into my step-by-step -step methods for retrieving pots and cover my efficient method of manually sorting crab quickly. If you are also a fan of survival and military games, check out my second gaming channel showing up right now. Continue on to the next Deadliest Catch the Game tutorial by clicking the playlist card showing up on your left, or if you've caught up on these tutorials, take a look at our Transport Fever 2 series popping up on your right. Click either one of these links and we will see you over there.